Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and I hope Joshua Bradwell will have nothing against me saying and you will learn something today. When recently I recorded my video about the matrix filter, there were a few people questioning how the hell did I manage to do a chart like that with the noise transmission, filtering efficiency and all the other very interesting things. Like for example, because not only you can, can, you can see the filter transmission on roll pitch and yaw, but also you can see <coughs> what is the PID controller response and how that correlates with the gyro flow. So you can check if the <coughs> PID controller, I'm sorry for my throat today, if the PID controller is working fine, there is no overshoot and everything is just fine. The software. The software, it's not mine. It's available on the market for almost two years now and last time, no, more than two years because last time I think it was updated in the early 2018 and it's called the Plasma Tree PID Analyzer. The link is in the description and in 2018 there were at least few videos about how to use the Plasma Tree PID Analyzer with beta flight because the software was created for the beta flight however you can also use the plasma tree pit analyzer to analyze ina block how to do it i will show you you will need two things first of all first of them will be of course the pid analyzer that you can download from the github just go to the release pages and download the windows executable this is very important they are shipping only with windows executable for other platforms especially mac and linux you would have to build this by yourself but we will not cover this uh, today i have only windows so let's work only with windows and the second thing you will need is the black box tools black box tools in the INAF flavor because INAF and beta flight and clean flight black box logs slightly differ and you need INAF flavor black box tools for this thing to work so also go to the link uh, the link is of course in the description go to the releases and download the latest one for the platform you are using. After the download will be done, you will end up with two files, the zip file that contains the black box tools and somewhere there also the PID analyzer 0.55 executable. First, you will have to unzip the black box tools. This will take only a moment. It's after all a very simple file. Let's delete the zip, zip archive. We don't need it anymore. And inside of the folder, you will have the black box tools. You do not have to run anything about the black box tools. What you will need, you will have to go to the download folder and uh, move. Yeah, actually, you can move the PID analyzer executable into the same folder when you have the black box tools black box tools for INAF and just run the executable. Bear in mind that launching the executable will take quite a long time for a reason that, well, it's a Python is creating its own virtual environment and it's definitely not the fastest thing ever. So it might take even a few minutes, but if you have time, then you have time, right? So let's wait still a minute. Oh, yes, and it's starting. It's starting, but not there yet. After you will see this screen where it says that it's ready to accept the logs, you are, well, halfway there. Now, all you, can have, all you have to do is to find the INAF black box log that you want to analyze and just move it, drag and drop into the application and press press enter for a few times yes you can like change the values and uh, be smart about this but just hitting enter for three or four times also works just fine and default values are fine and one more time after waiting for quite a long time my 
my PC is not the slowest one, but still you have to wait a considerable amount of time for the log to be analyzed, you will end up with two graphs. One is the noise plot, when you can see from the debug that stored the raw zero data to the output of the gyro processing, also throttle distribution and determine noise on roll and the pitch and some other extra graphs. And you will also be able to see if how the input correlates with the output and you can use this those graphs to finely tune your PID controller. Of course, we will not worry about this today because we have no time and this is really like a topic for a, at least a series of separate videos, but this graph actually is a pretty nice way to tune your PID controllers on the multi-rotors with INAP and Betaflight and any other software that supports those kind of black box lock and analysis. So. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.